Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome to my channel. Today's notification shout out goes to V Bink. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I see you in my comments. I love you, I love you. Thank you so much, te quiero mucho. If you guys wanna be part of the notification squad, all you have to do is just like this video, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below so I could possibly pick you for the next notification shout out, but you have to comment so that I see and I can grab your comment and then you can possibly be the next notification shout out. I don't know why that always, that I always trip up over that part, like always, like I get all. <sighs> Today's story time is part of my nanny series. I have a nanny series playlist. I do hear you guys, you guys want more client videos as well. So I'll get those out for you. I do have quite a few. And <laughs> one that just recently happened to me, but I'll get those out for you guys. There is some new makeup that I do wanna play with. I was so excited when I see this, you guys, I have to show you. <gasps> This one got me because I like me a peach color. Oh, the browns. Look at the browns right here. And then a little bit of pop of like, hello. Look how cute this cup is. Mira. Cousins. It's so cute. You know how I call you guys my best friends? Well, recently, a lot of you guys have been calling me prima. And I'm like, I freaking like that. I freaking love that. It's like even better than a bestie. You know what I mean? Because it's like we related. So what's up? I like it. I was like, <laughs> I love that. I get so geeked. I'm in such a good mood, you guys. So let's get on with the story time. Let me know what you're doing, what you're eating. If you're grubbing, let me know. I wanna know. A few of you have been asking me to do a story time when I'm eating, but I get too into the story, you guys. I'd be like, and I'll either get into eating or too much into the story time. But if that's something you really want me to do, let me know, I can do it for you guys. So let me know what you guys are doing, if you guys are eating, if you're driving somewhere, where are you guys driving to? Or if you're painting, I love to see you guys' painting. If you're doing your makeup, you better tag me. I already told y'all. Like Spam Bam, I repost you guys on my Instagram. I love to see what you guys are doing. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so after all the drama that happened with me, Skillet, Ursula, Shadow, I started to go back and you know, chill with the ex. Now, I did get a few DMs and a few comments about, oh, it was so nice of him to like let you stay there, even though you were sneaking out. I didn't get to stay there for free, if you catch what I'm saying. Like, it was never like, oh, he just let me sleep. Like, it was not like that. So, it wasn't like, oh, like, he's so nice. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like all peaches and cream or whatever. Mm -mm. I was giving payment in some way and I'm not gonna go into detail because I just feel like, eh. and I know others don't want to hear about it because they're like, oh, you were a child. I don't wanna hear about that. So it's kind of like really tricky. So I'll just save that maybe for like a later date. So I took a break, okay, from going over to the peaches. I took a break. I didn't wanna see Sam. I was tired of seeing her. I didn't, I didn't want to deal with anything. I didn't wanna hear with her like, oh my God, I can't believe it happened. Or, oh my gosh, or nothing. Especially because she wouldn't come off sorry. She was coming off annoyed. Like, are you showing up or not? Like, you know, and it, it really hurt our friendship because she really had me messed up. And she thought that she could talk to me any sort of way because she kind of like, knew that I needed that job, right? So she felt like she could talk to me any sort of way and I was gonna be okay with it because I had nowhere to really go to make that money. So I took my break and I would just wander about and literally just walk and walk and whatever friends I did have, I would go kick it with them, you know, chill with them until they had to get called back home from like mom and dad and stuff like that, but I could not see Sam. I was like, mm, if I see her, I'm going to fight her. I took a good couple like days off, not like a long ass minute, but a good enough minute for me where I could just like, woosa. Because I, the more time passed and the more I had to myself, I was so upset that this all happened because of her, her selfish, ways and i was just pissed off like she was over here she wanted to go have fun we could never just have fun like she had to ruin it and it just made me just so upset especially like if you're just walking or even thinking in your own home and you just keep thinking about it and thinking about it you get really upset and it's just ugh. so i had told the peaches right that i needed time they were like okay yeah take time whatever so they were telling me that they were going to be coming home soon and that if I was feeling up to it, but she heavily implied like you have to do it or I'm gonna find somebody else, that if I could go and you know make sure the house was clean because she was just 
oh my gosh, so stressed. She just wanted to come home to a clean house. When I read back on a lot of my journal entries, I get so hot with how Miss Peaches was. At first, I was like, you know what, she was nice. But there was a lot I forget. Like how they say when, the, when people pass, you always remember the good, but you never really remember the bad. You know what I'm saying? Like when someone passes, you're not gonna be like, she was a bitch. <laughs> she was a bitch. You're gonna remember like, yeah, she, she really knew how to make that lemonade. She always asked me if I want seconds. You know, you always remember the good parts. You don't want to remember the bad parts. But as I'm reading more and I'm seeing certain things or, and I don't know if it's because like now I'm a mom and I, a lot of the times I picture me as Angelica, you know, and I'm, Angelica is my daughter and how innocent, how innocent she is and how these people took advantage of of me like they really did on a lot of things they did how they would talk to me how they just treated me period and so it really upsets me but anyways she pretty much tells me that she wants to come home to a clean house and if i could if i was feeling up to it if i could you know go over and clean and if not to let her know that she can find someone else and thank you for your help so i was like oh, oh i have to go i have to to go so i don't even text sam because it's none of sam's business at all that i'm going to be going over so i don't even text her i just show up i show up and she's on the couch shoes off and she is munching on some lays and she's just getting crumbs everywhere i don't know if the peaches had told her like hey alexis is gonna come by act extra as if or what but she was doing the most i walk in she looks at me and just continues to eat. And I don't even say hi, because there's no reason for me to be like, hey Sam, nothing. I walk in and I just see the work that I have to do. This is another reason why I couldn't stand Sam either because she was doing way too much. She knew that I was going to come and clean eventually. And so she was doing the, mo the most, leaving the kitchen a mess, dishes here and there. Like she was just doing way too much. And what made me mad is I get it that they were paying me to clean, but they could have told her to like clean up after yourself. Like don't make it more. Like just because we have someone clean our table doesn't mean I'm gonna leave it all nasty and be like a little cochina and be like, oh, well it's their job. No, like there's no, there's no need for it. You know what I'm saying? I was just uh, annoyed. I get to cleaning and I could hear some like movement upstairs in the bathroom. And I'm like, what the heck? Like she really has someone here. She stops chewing midway and me and her just make eye contact. So I'm like doing what I'm doing and I hear movement and I look over at her and she's just uh, deep in my soul, in my butthole. I know it was Voltimore. Voltimore has been doing her own thing. She was doing her, I don't know what she was doing. I really don't care what she was doing, but she was back and I don't know why I got kind of scared I did like if I was I think it's because I was scared of like I'm gonna get my ass beat again you know and it sucks to think that's like what it was like I like when I really try and pinpoint it that's really what it was that I was scared that I was going to get beat again even though I did nothing wrong these people didn't need reason you know my own skillet could do it nothing like how no one like I'm <laughs> I don't even know what to say <laughs> I knew that it could happen to someone that doesn't even know what loyalty is. You know what I'm saying? I get kind of scared. I don't let it show though, cause she got me messed up. So you guys see my nails? <laughs> I'm all excited. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a really good mood. I don't let it show cause I know bitch. And if I get my, I'm gonna get my ass beat. I don't let it show. And I just like look at her and I continue to clean and I hear <laughs> like that. And ooh, you don't know how bad. I just wanted to throw the freaking broom at her. You don't know how bad, but just like, <clears throat> just chingaso, 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 Because oh, why are you laughing like that? Like what, you corny, you're a cornball. Like shut the f up, like why are you laughing like that? Like, ugh, it's just, ugh, it was just annoying. Like it just wasn't a valid reason to be laughing like that. And she was just annoying. Like she was feeling extra. So that's why I'm like, oh, you extra brave because you got so-and-so upstairs. Okay, you think you're cool. All right, all right, all right. I continue to clean. The peaches call, they check on me like, oh, hey, just wanna make sure everything's going good. And how was Sam? I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not here to watch Sam, I'm here to clean. And it sounded rude. I know it sounded disrespectful, but I'm not there to babysit Sam. 
point period blank i'm not so she kind of gets upset with me like oh i know you're not but she's in the house right and that's how they kind of would talk like huh huh like trying to be you know stupid and i hate even when i when i have to deal with people who talk like that to me now i just mm, i i just whew. i'm disconnected from the conversation just because i had too much of that huh i know right but she's still there like that whiny high pitch bitchy fucking voice like i don't want to hear it so i'm like well i don't know she's out doing her own thing i'm cleaning i don't know because i didn't and even though she was on the couch for a short period of time i'm not going to sit there i am not her babysitter and if they wanted me to babysit then y'all would let me stay here with no problem but okay right so they're like, okay, well, she's like, okay, Alexis, well, after you're done, just make sure to lock up. Thank you. Are you going to be in tomorrow? I tell her like, well, yeah, do you need me? Yeah, we do. Do you think you can leave this out to defrost? And just giving me some like things to do. I'm like, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. And I tell her and stuff like, okay, but when I get, when you guys get back, I'm going to have my paycheck, right? Because something in my gut was telling me that they were going to make it a hassle to get the time where at the time that i was off but the time where like they had left and where i didn't show like i had a feeling like they were gonna like do something i had a feeling and i don't know if i jinxed it because i was thinking it but i had a feeling these people are gonna be freaking shady these people are gonna make it hard and i don't know like i hate when like you know we say like oh we jinxed it we jinxed it did we really though or is it our gut already telling us like what could be or is our gut giving us a warning because i really hate when people are like oh my god you jinxed it and i hate it when i do it myself too but i'm like did i really though or am i just a bruja and i just don't know you know what i'm saying so anyways and she's like yeah 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 just trying to get me off the phone i'm like okay cool so during this time i still was like smoking cigarettes all right, and I went to the back and I was smoking. And I finally see Baltimore. She's back there and she's making a call and just talking to her papicito, yeah, la, 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 la. Talking to him and I cannot help but cringe at this freaking girl because it's just, oh, It's like, I don't know, I can't even say, it's like seeing your parents' sex talk, but she wasn't even a parent to me. It's just seeing an adult talk nasty and you just don't want to hear it you know she's talking nasty i happen to be there when she's talking nasty and then she eventually sees me because i'm trying to blow the smoke in her like area so that she can be like oh because i'm not gonna go <clears throat> because that's gonna hurt because i am is smoking she eventually sees me and she's like oh that she has to go you know that people are out here and just being nosy just being disrespectful you know and at the same time she's insulting me she's smiling i mean i'm just like because she think i don't understand half of what she's saying but i do i'm an international super spy so i'm just looking at her and i'm just like i'm not making no faces no smiling she's smiling at me but i'm giving her caca face That's what I'm doing. Because, uh-uh. And I was already feeling like, oh, they're going to jump me. I was traumatized. Even till this day, I get traumatized when, like, things get a little bit too much or people get a little, you know, rowdy or whatever. And I happen to be, even if it has nothing to do with me, I'm like, because it is something where it's, like, it stays with you. And you now have that, like, you're on guard all the time like you start paying attention more to your surroundings you start paying attention like i can use this i can use that i'm gonna use that i'm, I'm gonna definitely use this and just you start thinking different when things happen in your life you really start moving differently because you know of the ex things that have to happen the the things that you're put through you just start moving different so she gets off this phone call and she tells me and stuff like oh tell me that like do i think i'm cool because i'm smoking but in spanish it sounds harsh yet the crees that's for man to think it's like you know it is bien cabron and like telling me like oh whatever thinking like oh you think you're cool because you're smoking and i look at her and i'm like did i say that and i kept like catching myself because i'm like because <laughs> i'm telling you i'm just I was not having it. I did not want to have to deal with any of them at all. I just needed to get my money. And I did get a comment where someone said, oh, Alexis, like, 
the money that you did get like what did you do with it because you keep saying that you didn't have nice clothes that wasn't my priority the clothes my priority was getting pads making sure i had shampoo and conditioner because the ex mom was like really stubborn with that how to make sure i have my toothpaste how to make sure that i had food so like if they were being stingy at home or wherever i was or when i was like out in the streets for a little bit i was fed i had to make sure of it because not all the time the peaches would offer like hey do you want to eat anything okay bye let's just have a good one not all the time most of the time so i wasn't really worried about getting a pair of jeans or anything if anything i did get like you know the two dollar shirts that they would sell at walmart or four dollar shirts anything that was like on clearance that looked cute that's why if you guys have been with me for a minute when I talk about when I got my first job, how I got my first cute little outfit, why when me and Rudy were playing around and he like ruined it, why I freaking like, oh, I cried. And I get emotional about it now because I never really like took care of myself in that way of like wanting to look cute and give me a jumpsuit. So Rudy had no idea. Rudy was just like, oh, she's just like, <laughs> she's tripping about an outfit. Like what a great baby, you know, whatever he was thinking. He probably wasn't even thinking about that. But it was emotional to me because like I had worked so hard for that and where me and him were like playing around and he ruined it. I was like, I can't ever have a ding. But yeah, so that was my concern about getting my pads, making sure that I had food, making sure that I had my toothpaste, making sure I had my shampoo and conditioner so I didn't smell, make sure that I had my deodorant because back in the day I had such like, oh my gosh, my armpits, oh, stress sweat was, oh my God. I had to make sure that I had you know some strong deodorant because i did not want to be smelling like an onion in front of these people so th those are my concerns you know and when i could get pants like when my mom would get like a voucher to go to the di that's when i could get my new pair of pants so that's where my money was going towards you know and especially if i wanted to like eat something or eat a hot dog or anything I knew that I was good. If I wanted to drink, I knew that I was gonna be okay with what I got. And I didn't get paid a lot either. <sighs> I just pissed myself off thinking about all this. Like, can you sue someone later on in life for damages? Sometimes I would give the ex money and be like, oh yeah, my mom gave it to me or whatever, you know? Oh, I just, I just got my whole eye. <sighs> Where's the brown, Jade? Where's the brown? I don't know. I got too into the conversation. So I would tell him like, oh, my mom gave it to me because if he knew I had money, then he would just want all of it. And so it would have just been, it would have just been a mess. Anyway, so me and her just continue to like pretty much glare at each other. Sam knows he has open the door and be like, oh, there you are. Shut up to Baltimore. Like, oh, I was looking for you. Like, so it was so cringe. Where it's like, dang, you so fake. Like, oh my gosh, it hurts me. And so even Baltimore looks at her like, mm, yeah. Doesn't really probably catch what's going on, you know? And so she like tells her like, are we gonna go to the mall? Even though I had no business, you guys, the person in my head was like, I'm gonna go because ugh, I wanted to go. I I'm telling you, I always just wanted to be accepted back then where it was like, I wanted to kind of break the ice and be like, yeah, whatever. If they ask me, I'm like, I'm just gonna go. If they ask me, they didn't ask me. They didn't ask me at all. So <laughs> stupid old me, I'm like, you you thought, bitch. Like, I swear, that's me in my head. I need to do a video where I'm just talking, how I talk to myself in my head. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta talk nice to yourself because I swear I'd be burning the hell out of the person that's in my head. Just straight punking on her. Sometimes, not all the time. They're talking about going to the mall and she's like, oh yeah, like, do you wanna go? Okay, yeah, let's go. And so she asks me if I could have, if she could have a cigarette. And I'm like, no. And I just say no. It was so awkward because I'm like, why did you say no? But I said no, because I said no. So I'm like, no. And she's like, por qué? Like, is it because like, you don't have any or because like, you just don't want to give me any? And I'm like, los dos. Like for, I'm like, yeah, both of those reasons, you know? And she like tells me like, okay, okay. Remember that. And I'm like, okay. Because like if they actually they did something for me. Okay, I'm gonna remember it. I get so mad. They leave and I'm just like, oh, I should've just gave her one because maybe if I gave her one, she wouldn't like, do you wanna go? But I'm like, no, nah, they want enough. Like they want enough because if they wanted to, they would. And that's something that I had to learn very early on too. When someone's like, how come they don't do that for me, but they do it for you? Because if they wanted to, they would, period. There's no like, oh, it's because of this, it's because of, if they wanted to, they would. 
okay? Stay with me. If they wanted to, they would. So that if they don't, don't be like, oh, it's because of this, or I didn't do, if they wanted to, they would, okay? That goes for everything, your relationships, your cousinships, todo, your mothership, all of it. If they wanted to, they would. People make things happen all the time. And that's why a lot of us are like, oh, why are you, why, why are you, why not me? When someone does something, if they wanted to, they would, period point blank and I had to learn that the hard way so I get to cleaning and I get a text message from an old friend we will name him we'll name him moon because he me and him that's how we started talking was because we're both really into that kind of stuff so I'll name him moon this is someone who I used to go to elementary with and I guess you could say like I friend zoned him but it's because I didn't see him like that like I seen him like my brother like honestly like a brother to me and we didn't start talking about like feelings or anything until like later on later on in life and it was like it never would have worked anyways so anyways moon messages me out of nowhere and i swear it's like oh the time was perfect because i was like in my feelings and nobody loved me in my feelings you know doing all that and he texts me and i'm like oh what so he had got my my number from skillet he like messages me like oh hey like is this alexis i'm like oh yeah like hey what's up so me and him start talking and we just reminiscent on pretty much everything that has happened because he moved to be with his mother and then they moved back because I guess the location, they were like, this ain't it. <laughs> so they moved back and he was like pretty much just trying to catch up with me like, hey, what are you doing? I'm cleaning and I'm messaging him and I'm literally just making the time go by so fast and I'm catching him up like, yeah, this is what's going on. And he could not stand the ex. He would always tell me that he wasn't the one. And I was so dumb because when he would tell me like, you deserve better, I would always think that like he literally meant like someone that I deserve someone like better. I wasn't like, oh, he's... He's talking about him, you know? I was just dumb because I literally thought that's how we like we saw each other as brother and sister because I literally saw him as a brother because he would tell me about his relationships and just like some boy on some boy stuff, you know? He'd be like, oh yeah, I tried this with her. And so I was like, okay, we have an agreement of like, you don't see me like that and I don't see you like that. So. He was just, you know, telling me like, oh, are you still with so-and-so? I'm like, yup. And so he was telling me that if we could meet up after I was done working. And I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, like we can catch up. But I told him like, we have to be extra careful because if he finds out, then like I'm dead. He's like, no, I got you. And if anything, I'll beat his ass. And I'm like, you're stupid. Okay, I'll meet you. So I finish up. I do kind of like a half fast because I'm trying to go. I just trying to go i want to go talk to my friend and catch up with him haven't seen him in a long time and i kind of want to catch him up because he was talking about how oh why are you being so mean to skillet so i wanted to tell him my point and like what was going on because she had me messed up but she was thinking that like she was going to call on moon to make things better you know i finish up and i meet up with him and we're at the park where that happened to me. <laughs> Pretty much telling him like what happened. He's like, Dane, that's crazy. That like, we just need to talk it out. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. So we're talking about my mom and he was just telling me that, you know, to be patient with her, that she loves me because when we were kids, my mom would talk to him too. You know, we're in elementary, she would see him and she would always tell me, you know, like she really, she really, really liked him. And she would be like, mm, look it. And I'm like, mom, no. Cause I didn't see him like that. I really saw him like a brother. He wasn't ugly or anything. It's just, you know how some people are like, you just don't see that person like that. And I just didn't see him like that. He's telling me like to be patient with her. And we kind of get into like a heated combo because I tell him like, it's none of your business. Like you really haven't been here. You really haven't seen anything. And I don't want to talk about it because his dad would deal with demons. And he was just telling me like, you know, they're in there, they love us. And I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. That's nice. I'm like, well, I gotta get going. So it kind of just cuts our little catch up very short. And he's telling me that he's gonna go see Skillet after. I'm like, okay, cool, like do you. And he's like, are you gonna be upset about it? I'm like, why do you care? Like, honestly, like, why do you care? I don't care if you wanna talk to her. I'm not one to tell you like not to do this and not to do that. I don't care. He offers her to walk me home and I'm like, nah. Like, mm, I'll walk myself. And he's like, okay. You know, still trying to be nice. As I'm walking, I'm texting 
the ex and stuff that if I could stay the night there because I didn't officially 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 move back in until like like a, like a week after his sister just wanted to lay down some rules of what she won't allow and what she will allow and when I get into that story time I'm gonna be pissed I'm gonna probably be drinking a mimosa or something I'm gonna probably be taking some shots because it was some stupid ass rules. Anyways, you can come at this time. It was like super late. All right, I don't know where the footage went for this part, but I end up texting Moon and I'm like, hey, what are you gonna be doing? And he's like, you gotta, you gotta waste some time. I'm like, yeah, cause that's the kind of friendship relationship we had. So he's like, meet me at McDonald's. I personally like going to McDonald's because it was cheap, affordable, and the food was good. So I'm like, all right, bet. I get there, me and him are talking having a little combo and he's just like constantly on his phone which is like no biggie whatever but i'm like hey get off your phone like it's a lot now like quit spend time with me you know and so he's like, he says okay done and i'm like done what and he just smiles and he's like nothing and so i don't even think anything of it he moon was always just kind of like weird and would do things like that you know and so i was like okay whatever and we just continued to talk about like the ex and he was talking to me about this girl that he was dating and his family wouldn't approve. She wasn't in the same religion as him. And I just remember just being not really understanding that, you know, cause I'm always been like, love is love, you know? And so I was just letting him talk and I was like, let's go for a walk, yeah. And he was like, nah, like let's just chill here. I'm like, for what? Like, we have, like, they, they're gonna kick us out. They're gonna be like, hey, these kids are just bumming here. And he was like, you think too much. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, because my anxiety is crazy, I go and I order something else. And he's like, we'll be fine. I'm like, no, I'm just ordering because I got hungry again. He's like, mm hmm. I'm like, no, I really, really did. I didn't. I was just, because I didn't want them to be like, you guys have to get out. I wanted them to see, like, okay, they are spending money. You know what I mean? Cause, cause of my anxiety me and him we just continue to talk and he gets up and he goes towards like the door and i'm like what is he doing you know goes towards the door and then i see skillet i get so annoyed because i don't think that's cute i don't think it's funny if i say i don't want to talk to because as we were talking i was telling him about the situation and he was like no nah, it was just a lot of like miscommunication i was like miscommunication nada like she didn't have to put her hands on me he's like you guys have too much history i'm like i don't care like i really 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 don't care i don't care and if we did have a lot of history then she shouldn't put her hands on me point period blank and so he was trying to, to talk to me and he was trying to be like captain save a friendship and i wasn't having it i was pissed as soon as i seen her and she made that stupid face to me like so i was mad and i go and i hug him i'm like all right cool i gotta go and he grabs onto my hand and kind of like pulls me close kind of like it could come off very sexually because like how he like brought me in and his legs were open and so i get even more mad because i'm like um no and so i tell him like yo like what the f and i push him because that's not cool. You know, that's not cool. And he's like, whoa, whoa. I calmed them the F down. They were getting kind of crazy. So I push him because I'm like, yo, like, what the hell? Like, I don't like that. I don't like it when guys were like, oh, come. They're too touchy feely. I don't like that. I don't like the whole touchy feely unless, like, me and you are something or we have that type of relationship. But I don't, I don't like that. And I really hate when, you know, people try to, like, act on that. Like, oh, I thought we were friends. Yeah, not kissing friends. So I get mad and I push him. I'm like, yo, like, what the and then Skillet wants to come in and act like she's my friend and be like, what are you doing, Moon? Like, you're doing too much. So we're kind of both like yelling at him because when he like pulled me in, he was like biting his lip and I just didn't like that. I was like, you know, and it was whatever innocent we want to call it because he was like, no, 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 I didn't mean that. Whatever, it just wasn't the time, right? So I'm leaving, period. And he tells me like, don't be like that. Like, I think you guys really need to talk. And he's like, yo, look, I'm bad for like what I just did. My bad, my bad. I think you guys need to talk. You guys are friends. And I'm like, why do you care? Like, you come out of nowhere. Why do you care? Like, I really, like he, you know, that one person just like always inserting themselves. He was doing that. And he might have had like good intentions, but there's just no reason. Like, there's no reason at all. Why are you, you're doing way too much. Knock it off. She tells me like, hey, do you think we can talk? I'm like, no, I don't. I got your messages. I don't think we can talk. 
I don't want to talk. What I'm doing right now is already too much. I don't want to continue it. She then continues to follow me and God's like, I'm walking out and I tell him bye. I'm like, he's like, oh, it's like that. Like, where's my hug? Um, <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, you, you ruined that. We don't, we don't hug no more. And so I'm out of him because of that and because how oh, he set me up. Like we were having a good time. You set me up, uh-uh, not cool. So as I'm walking out, she follows too. And she's like, look, Lex, I'm gonna follow you until we we talk this out. And I'm like, talk what out? You fake, you're grimy, you're nasty. I don't ever trust you. There's nothing more to talk about. And I'm just going in on talking a lot of my BS and she's just taking it. She's just like, I know, like you're you're a hundred percent right. Like I couldn't sleep at night. The only reason why and I'm telling her, like the only reason why you're talking to me right now is because so-and-so left your, your grimy ass. That's it. If you guys were still together and he gave you like kudos for doing what you did to me, we wouldn't be having this discussion right now. So let's not act like you really care. Let's just say what it is. You don't care. You have no one to talk to. You feel alone. Shadow away and probably messing with you because you don't want to do anything with her. And it is what it is. Like, let's just call it for what it is. And I'm walking. I'm walking. I have my little book bag with me. And moments like this always felt like a movie or like a music video, you know? So I'll bring you with some music because I was like, mm -mm, no. I was upset and she followed me for a good minute. Even Moon started to follow us towards the end because he's part was like, her like, oh, like they really just left me, you know? So it goes me up front, Skillet over here talking to me and then Moon all the way in the back. She's just yelling like, can you just please forgive me? I'm sorry. And she tries to like make a joke like, you really messed me up, dude. Like you really, really did. Like you got one in on me. Like I didn't even think, and I just turn with my backpack. I'm like, can you just shut up? Like you really, like just shut up. Like you're not doing anyone any favors. Like I don't want to hear you. You disgust me. You make me want to throw up. No, don't talk to me. She just continued to apologize. I really, really just want to turn around and hug her and tell her like, it's cool, whatever. Like what happened, happened. It is what it is. You're my ride or die, period. But I couldn't, you guys. I really, really couldn't. What she did was an ultimate betrayal because we had so much history. There was so much that she had been through with me, vice versa. There was just too much for me to be like, that was okay because it wasn't. And let's be honest, the only reason why we're talking is because her dude didn't want to be with her anymore. She just had no reason. Like her beef was with Sam, not with me. And she really just, it just makes people like that that are quick to turn their back on you with situations like that. It really just like makes you think and it just made me feel like, so she was just like waiting on a on an opportunity, you know? As we're walking, I start to message my mom just to see like where she's at, what she's doing so that maybe she can like pick me up and get me away from them because I really did not want to deal with it. I really don't think that I should have had to deal with it. There's really nothing to say i don't want to talk to them i'm still hurt and honestly i feel like friendships when you break up it almost feels a little bit worse than a breakup almost but it doesn't feel good you know what i'm saying like you feel uh, and so skillet starts getting upset with me and she's like for real like you're really not going to take me back but you're cool with being with your ex and him doing all this to you and la 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 and so i turn around because i'm mad I'm crying at this point with her. I tell her that's why. You see that right there? That's why. Because you always throw stuff like that in my face and you know why, I'm do why I have to do what I have to do and you know that I have anybody else. And like, and you're the only one who knew everything. You're the only one that knew that part of me. I, if anything, I loved you more than him. I trusted you more than him. She just like gets quiet. I'm like, that's why. I should turn around and been like, you right, come here. Come here. We're walking and it's like a busy street and I see the ex's car. And he just kind of like drives by really slow. He's with his mom. I guess just to confirm that's me, you know? Drives by really slow, looks at me, sees Skillet, and of course he sees Moon. I don't even think about Moon because I'm just fighting with Skillet. I get a text message at the same time my mom texts me too and she tells me if I was hungry, I guess she was gonna take my brothers to the pool and she asked me if I wanted to go. I was hurt because if I wanted to message her, I'm like, would I have been invited? Her argument always was that she didn't know because she didn't want to like bug me or she didn't know what was going on. And it's just cause like, let's be honest, they were living with without me. Like I couldn't expect my mom to include me in things because I wasn't 
living with her you know what i mean and i didn't i shouldn't have expected her to put to consider me when she wanted to do things with my siblings so i tell her yeah come pick me up i'll go i want to go as, as i'm messaging her back i'm messaging him and he's like oh who are you with going off on me i don't even reply to him i don't know why i didn't i don't remember why i was like oh probably because I was just over it, you know? I had fighting with him and then fighting with Skillet. I was just like, ugh. So she just tells me, all right then, fuck you then. And it gets all mad. I'm like, okay, bye. Okay, bye. And she's like, remember this, remember that. I'm like, okay, remember it, record it. Do you want me to send you a message? Like, I'm not gonna forget. Like, I really don't care. And so she's kind of like crying and I'm crying too because it was just like breaking up again and she after she told me that she was like i said i'm sorry oh my god doesn't make it okay like it really doesn't doesn't make it any better and at the same time there were some secrets that i had told her that were going around and they only could come from her and that's what i really really hate when you tell somebody a certain secret and then you end up hearing it and they want to swear up and down i swear on everything i love i ain't say nothing maybe you just put it together shut the up no they could have not put it together like it's you you're grimy you said something like you probably told someone that you probably trust and it came out like let's just be honest like i really hate that i really hate when people just can't be a hundred and be like man i fucked up i told so and so because i really thought she would no one can do that no one no one no one no one no one no one there's only been one person one person only that has ever told me like you know what i did tell him so and so because i really thought she wasn't going to say anything that's my bad only one person and i respect her for it and i forgave her for it right there and then because i was like you know what because i'd rather trust someone who can be 100 percent honest to me even if it's uncomfortable than someone who wants to swear up and down this no 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 oh it pisses me off when i heard not that i'm comparing myself to kim kardashian but kim kardashian she sent three photos when north was born she sent them to her friends she sent photos of different babies one of them got leaked and that's how she cut off that friend that's how sometimes it reminds me of that situation when i tell a certain friend something and i think i can confide in them and then i hear it i'm like mm. and that's just how i know because i know that i'm not dumb and i didn't repeat it or anything like that you know what i mean so now i just keep it to myself i just keep it to myself and i'm like mm, me hell over here ranting about everything huh <gasps> this is my therapy sesh <gasps> we should have something that says therapy sesh oh when i started story time therapy sesh oh because i swear this does help me and i honestly don't know how to deal with that you guys when you on everything on everything let's just say i tell you a secret and i'm like how do you deal with that how how do you deal with that you told someone and you're like I only told you, like I honestly only told you. I didn't tell anybody else because I didn't trust anybody like that. I only told you. And then you hear it from somebody else or like it just becomes something and you're like, but I only told you and that person's like, I swear to God, do you give them the benefit of the doubt? Like honestly, please help me. Do you give them the benefit of the doubt? Please, please, please answer that for me. Or do you just know like I can't, I can't trust you because there's no way anyone could put that together. Like no way at all, at all, at all. Like, oh, I can't you guys, I can't. So anyways, my point. And she was the only person that I told certain things about and they were coming out. And so I told her was, you know, was she the one to say, to say it? And I shouldn't have said like, are you the one? Cause that implies that I told somebody else. But anyways, I'm like, are you the one who said that? And she's like, what? No, no, no. I didn't say that and I'm like are you sure you're the only one who knew I was like just be honest with me she's like no like I didn't I'm like are you sure because you're the only person I told like the only only person that I ever told that to no it wasn't me it wasn't me and so I already had text my mom like where I was at like come get me right now so I text my mom my mom's already on her way to come get me and I'm still fighting with skillet and moon he was already like come on skillet just leave it man like just telling her like just to pretty much like leave me alone so we're continuing to dramatically fight with each other and i tell her like just admit that it was you like you need to start being honest because i don't even want you in my life if you're not going to be honest i know it was you just say it was you she continues to swear up and down that it wasn't her that so and so probably just put it together and i'm like mm, no and there are some things that i had told her about my mom too that were coming out and i would only tell her only only like no one can hit the jackpot and be like oh i just guessed that nobody 
you know, and it was just too much. So I'm yelling at her crying, like my voice is going because I just want her to leave me alone. Like, I just want her to leave me alone. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, I'm a, I'm a shitty person for not forgiving you and I forgive the ex. Okay, whatever, say what you want, say what you will. I don't want to be friends with you. Like, I don't want to have another shitty person in my life. I already have one person who comes with a whole bundle of bull. I don't want another person who comes with this. And then now I can't even trust your loyalty about like this not coming out, that coming out, or me just being able to confide in you about some stuff. You know what I'm saying? We just continue and continue and continue. And then I see that my mom's car is pulling up because I tell her like, oh, I'm in front of the KFC. And it's so crazy because I live around this area and now when I reminisce or something like that, I, I can like just see like myself and how everything, I'm just like, <sighs> it's so crazy. Anyways, so my mom picks me up and Skilla just stops like dead in her tracks because she probably doesn't know like, oh, if I told my mom what happened because I'm telling y'all, my mom was crazy and she probably would have her ass on the spot. My mom just looks at her, doesn't think anything of it because I didn't tell my mom anything and I didn't, you know, want my mom to just do anything. I didn't, even though those people freaking hurt me, I never wanted them to, to hurt or anything. I never wanted them to feel stupid or embarrassed. I hated that about me. I still hate that about me. I just get in the car and me and my mom just take off and she's like, oh, did you want to invite her? I'm like, no, let's just go. She's like, are you guys fighting? I'm like, no, we're not. Like, I just want to go. My mom's like, okay, because I have a little attitude with her. I hate that I have attitude with her but I just didn't want her to keep pressing about it because I would've just started crying and my mom would've been like, what's wrong? And I would've told her, that bitch, that bitch. And we would've been fighting, she would've reversed, she would've, she would've done something, you know? I love Skillet, I didn't want her to hurt. We go and my brothers are all excited. I'm excited because I get to see them and I love swimming. I just loved it. I always pretended that I was like a mermaid or something and I was just in this crazy world. I did a lot of like imagining when I was young. I just didn't want to be here. I wanted to be somewhere else. I wanted to be a freaking mermaid that happened just to be on this crazy world and I was just waiting back to go back to where I belonged. <laughs> now I'm freaking scared of the freaking ocean. But anyways, we went swimming and my mom kind of like lets it out that my stepdad was supposed to come, but he didn't because I was coming and my mom was like, I didn't want you to feel uncomfortable. I wish she wouldn't have told me that detail because I just got so annoyed because I get that they were working on their relationship, even though what had happened to me, because I had told my mom like, yeah, whatever, like, it's fine, go ahead, whatever, it's fine. I know they were playing house, you know, duh, obviously, but I was just so upset because I'm like, if I wouldn't have called, I wouldn't have been invited to be here right now because she would have been playing house with my stepdad. And I know, it's like, Alexis, what do you expect? Like, she's not supposed to live her life or whatever. Yeah, she's supposed to live her life, but I wanted to be part of that life, just not with him. And I was just upset because I'm like, you could come and spend money here at the freaking, you know, aquatic center, do all this, but you can't get it together to get an apartment so we all can be together again. And so, it was just, I was shutting down and my mom kind of just looked at me and was like, come on, let's go, let's go swim. I was just fighting with myself up here cause I'm like, she don't care. Because if she did, things would be different, you know? And so I'm just going in my head, just fighting with her. She's telling me like, come on, let's go play, like in the water, whatever with my brothers. And I'm like, okay, we'll catch up mom. So in the meantime, I started to message my ex and he had still like went off, you know, about what he, had seen like my friend moon whatever you know and so i'm going through the messages and the last message just says i'm sorry for tripping like that like i just i just love you blah, 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 blah. and in my head i'm just like like relieved because i'm like oh my god cool i don't even have to deal with all the other mess he just probably thinks that like i'm upset ignoring him so cool so i message him and i'm like hey do you have time to talk and then i just kind of confide in him about my whole mom situation. And he kind of makes me feel better about it and tells me like things are gonna be okay. And hopefully she sees it and she gets her place with my brothers and stuff, but that he still wanted me to stay with him. And I'm like, for what? Like I have to go at night. It's not even, it's not even like we get to like play house or anything like that. I feel like a secret. And he was just trying to not fight with me. You can tell because he would get irritated very easily with me. But I'm like, for what? So we were fighting about an imaginary thing, my mom getting it together, me moving back in with her. And he was like, why do you want to move back in with her? She doesn't even really care. So he was trying to 
tread lightly, but upset that like I was gonna probably think about moving back with her. It was just so stupid. Like when I think about the stupid fight, we're having an imaginary fight. I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna deal with this right now. I'm gonna go and swim with my brother. So I stopped messaging him and before I put the phone down, he's like, if you stop messaging me, don't come home. So what do I do? I continue to message him because I'm like, what do you mean? Like I, <laughs> I have nowhere to go. And so I kiss butt and I'm like, oh, like my bad. I don't know, I'm distressed. Like, yeah, I would stay with you. And he just continued to freaking message. And if I, wouldn't, if I would stop messaging, then I was choosing my mom over him. And he's like, why are you gonna choose her over me? She don't even care about you. So it was just like a battle a battle and it wasn't like i could be like mom i'm just gonna stay with you okay because i don't want to stay with her i didn't want to stay with that freaking stepdad of mine even if i was to be in the room and not have to see him at all i don't want to hear his voice talking to my mom i don't want to hear anything going on i didn't want to have to deal with any of it i kissed but i should have never grabbed my phone because i just ruined my own fun of just messaging him the whole time because he was so insecure and he needed to be in charge he literally liked being able to have me as C. And I was so upset because I'm like, he just calmed himself down earlier about accusing me like, oh, why did I give in? Why did I give in? So I tried to do what I did earlier and stop messaging him. And I'm like, hopefully it'll pay, play out in my favor and he'll like apologize, you know? I was trying to do what he was doing to me. Hella backfired. So I just stopped. I stopped talking to him. My mom takes us out to to eat my mom tells me to put down my phone i'm not messaging him back but i'm like reading the messages you know and so i put it away and she just tells me like alexis like just stop ma just stop as soon as you stop messaging him back he'll he'll calm down on whatever you guys are arguing about because i didn't tell her like oh this and that because sometimes when i would talk to my mom she would make it really really hard to talk to her because she always wanted to voice her opinion right away without hearing everything and it just kind of made things hard because then she would think that I was changing the story, but she wasn't letting me finish. Cause I'm like, oh, cause I'd be like, example. If he said like, oh, you're getting fat. And I would tell him like, yeah, he said I was getting fat. Did you tell him that he's, this? I'm like, ma, like let me finish. Because then I would be like, yeah, I told him that, did you though? But it's like, yes, I did. You just chose to interrupt me and I couldn't finish what I was gonna say. So now it just sounds like I'm gonna, I'm saying what you're saying, but I really am not. I'm saying what I was going to say, but you really interrupted. But in your head, you think that I'm saying what you said because you wanted to put into the combo right away and like comment on it, you know? So it was just really hard to talk to her so i would just tell her like oh nothing you know and sometimes i would forget and tell her and i would end up fighting with her because i felt like i had to protect him and she would always threaten that i was going to have to stay with her even if i didn't want to be around my stepdad and that she would be in the room with me and i'd never have to see him blah 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 blah, blah. i'm like i don't care like i don't want to be there period so he wasn't changing his mind about not being able to sleep there he was like upset and he was even more upset that I was ignoring him and I was with my mom. And then he wanted to bring up like, who was that guy that was with you guys, with you and Skillet? Like, I bet you you're doing something. So he was just upset and trying to pick out whatever, whatever fight that he could possibly bring up. Of like, what about this? What about that? What about this? It just sucked because right away I'm like thinking like, where am I going to go? It sucked that I felt like I always had to kiss butt to anybody because of the situation that I was in. And I just wanted it just to stop. At times life felt like if it wasn't real, I'm like, how can this be happening? Like honestly, like how can this be what I do in life? I hate that I feel like I can't even just go home with my mom and my brothers. We're having such a good day and we're not going to end it together. I hate this. I hate that this man that hurt me is still in our lives because my mom is dealing with her demons. I hate this. I hate that I don't feel like I belong anywhere. I always feel like I am the problem even though these people are the ones who are hurting me. Like why am I the bad person when it's because it's of their actions. Like why am I being blamed for what they did? It doesn't feel like it's fair. It doesn't feel like that these people get to do certain things to me and then it's my fault when I, it just sucks. How dare you feel this way even though I'm the one who inflicted that. Okay, 
Like that makes perfect sense. It doesn't. So I end up apologizing to him just randomly. I'm like, you know what? I don't want to fight anymore. I'm sorry. And he's like, you're still not gonna be able to sleep there. I'm like, okay. I just want to say I'm sorry because I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm just like, okay. Cut our meals short because the stepdad was home and my mom, you know, in the nicest way. Hey, we gotta start heading back already because she had to cook food and then I would make my comments of like, so what? Like, and so what? Let him starve, let him cook for himself. And then me and my mom would just fight because she would want me to understand. And I'm like, I don't understand. I don't. And then she would tell me like, well, when you're married, you'll see. And I'm like, I hope I get with somebody where like, if I'm out and about, they will understand and they would feed themselves. So we were just fighting, fighting, fighting. Going back and forth. And I really just hate how my mom, and it sounds so hypocritical. So, like I'm such a hypocrite. Over here getting upset at my mom for going home to trash when I'm gonna go home to trash. I guess I just wanted my mom to set the bar high so that I could follow, but that's not fair. It's not fair to be like, well, you should do it and then I will do it. It's not fair. But as a child, I wanted her to set that standard high so that I would feel some way about like not following, you know, that I would feel somewhat embarrassed and be like, well, my mom doesn't tolerate it, so I shouldn't tolerate it. It's not fair, but I did. I did expect her to stand up to him and not not allow him to be so disrespectful to her. We fought, we fought, we ended our meal and I was just so upset with her. I didn't want to talk to her. I was just being so upset where I'm just like, wake up, wake up. Because it was hard for me to take advice from my mom when she'd be like, don't allow someone to do this to you. And it's like, but you're allowing it, but you're doing it. But I want better for you. I want you to, okay, and I want better for you. So, so we pretty much, and on a bad note because our bickering, my mom thinks she's right, I think I'm right, and I just didn't want to hear any advice that she had to give me, and I was just upset that she had to go home to him. So my mom tells me she has to drop me off where I'm going to go. I knew that if I told her, oh no, just leave me here, my mom was gonna be like, you're coming home with me, or something, I knew it was gonna be a fight. So I just told her to drop me off at the Peaches. Drop me off at the Peaches, it's not like I've had like, Honestly, like set hours. I was supposed to show up in the morning, but I needed to play it off so that my mom wouldn't like bug me about where I was going and then me and her have to get in a fight and her be like, get in the car, you're gonna go with me. So I didn't wanna fight with her about it. So I get dropped off and my mom's watching me go to the door. So I get off, I go to the door, I knock on it and Sam answers and she's like, what? I'm like, I forgot something. And so I just brushed by her. Cause I'm like, I'm not gonna see her and go back and forth. And her slammed the door in my face. And my mom's gonna be like, what's going on? So I'm like, I forgot something. So I brush past her and I go in, go into the restroom right away. Cause I'm like, oh my God, like I have to like play it off, you know? So my mom leaves, texts me like, see you soon. Have a good night, whatever, you know? So I'm in the restroom, I'm waiting for a good minute. And then I come out and Sam's just there and she's just going like this. So like, are we ever going to talk about like anything? And I look at her, I'm like, okay, go ahead. Cause I'm trying to waste time, right? So I'm like, go ahead, go ahead. What do you have to say? What do you want to say? And she's like, I just want to apologize just for how everything went down. I don't know why I did it, but, but I think it's messed up. Like how you're giving me the cold shoulder. Like I took care of it. So I get upset and I go off and I'm like, I got jumps because of you. And I start telling her everything that happened. And I'm like crying, always with my crying, I swear. <sighs> So I'm like crying because I'm frustrated, I'm tired. I just got done swimming, I want to go to sleep. Have you ever went swimming all day pretty much and then you just feel like exhausted? I'm just tired. I fought with Skillet, I fought with Moon, who is like my freaking homie and I'm just like all over the place, you know? We start going back and forth, she's like apologizing. Well, like I didn't know that, how was I supposed to know that? And so, Voltimer comes down and she's like, what's going on? What's going on? Why are you going, why are you guys so loud? She's like, why are you here? Sam tells her like, oh, she forgot something. Like I told her it was fine. And then Voltimer's like, that's not what you told me. You told me that, so she, Sam already had told Voltimer a whole different story of everything that went down. I wasn't gonna be the one to be like, no, -uh, this is what happened because it's pointless. Like people like this, they are going to Swiss twist, turn, move everything, become transformers to make their story fit with how they are. As they're talking, going back and forth, I just go to the back and I just light up. 
and I'm just being all dramatic, you know, and I'm just just thinking about everything. Sam comes out. She's just like, I don't know if she just like knew or what, but she asks me like, where are you sleeping tonight? And I just look at her. I'm like, you know what? To be honest, nowhere. I don't know. He's pissed off at me. He doesn't want me to go. And I kind of was telling her a little bit, but not too much because I still didn't trust her. She goes in, she comes back out and she has like a big cobija, like a big like comf, comf blanket, you know? And she's like, you could stay in the garage. I know, I know. <sighs> this isn't the first time I slept in a garage. So I just grabbed it and I didn't even say nothing. I was just like, thanks. She's like, I would ask, I would offer. I'm like, nah, it's okay. Cause I already, I didn't want to hear from Peaches. I don't want to hear them saying this. And I didn't want them to take any money out for like staying there, anything at all. I didn't, I was so tired of like asking for help or implying that like, hey, I got nowhere to stay. And when you're wanted, you'll know. When you're not wanted, you will feel it. Like if someone wants you there, they will like make you feel comfortable. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone doesn't want you there, they make it kind of just like bluntly clear like, Mm, you know, like they don't want you there. So I just took the blanket, she had like a little pillow in there and she opened up the garage. I laid it out, set it up. Phones back in the day, they didn't have like, you know, like the YouTube that we do now or anything like that. So I'm just literally just, just there, just texting on my phone. She kept me a little bit of company, but it was just like awkward silence, like just awkward silence. Like I'm laid out in the garage and I'm just like this. Like that, and it was a flip phone. It was no, this phone. She's like, well, I'll let you be. If you get hungry or anything like that, you can go. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Cause it was so humiliating. I should have been rude, no, but I felt freaking awkward. And like deep down inside, I'm like, why can't you just let me stay inside? And like the peaches say anything, like you fight with them. Like be my friend, like tell them like, you know, like even though I'm pushing you away and I'm mad at you, like still like ride for me. like. But you can't expect that of people, man. You can't. You can't expect people to have the same heart as you because you will be disappointed time and time and time and time and time and time again because no one has the same heart as you. No one's gonna ride for you like you will ride for yourself. Not at the end. Like no one is going to do what you would want. And if you find that person, hold on to them tight because people like that are so rare that it's just you're in a coma or something, you have a concussion. It's not real, <laughs> but it's very, very rare that you find somebody, you find your soulmate. It doesn't even have to be like a partner, but it's very, very rare where you find your soulmate and it's just like, ah, that's crazy, you know? So eventually I end up passing out. I put my phone tucked in my undies because I'm like, nah, like I don't want anyone to go through my phone. I don't want nothing. I don't want, that's my only valuables. So tuck it in there and I just start getting tired and I just go to bed. It gets, it's really hot during the day, but it gets like really cold at night. The garage door was closed. I could get out. They could come in if they have the coat or anything like that. But it was very, very cold. I just remember waking up and just feeling like, just go, just go home. Even if it's like bad, just, just go home. But I don't. So I fold up the blankets and I go inside, ready for, for work, go inside. Sam's already up and Baltimore was already gone doing who cares who knows what and Sam had made us breakfast and she's like come in come in come in she grabs the blanket for me and I'm like I have to wash it she's like I'll do it so she goes into the laundry room puts it in and you can hear it starting to go and stuff and I just sit there and she asks me like if I you know need to borrow any clothes or anything being extremely nice if I need to borrow any clothes or anything like that that like she got me or she's like you don't even have to like wear them all day if you don't want you can like we'll wash the clothes that you're wearing now and so I eat the food that she offers me munch on it and i'm like you know thanks sam and i get to working i still had to work right so i get to working she tells me that the peaches are going to be arriving sometime later tonight or tomorrow but she's like if they don't come tonight then you're more than welcome to stay in the garage again if you want and i was like oh i don't know it was kind of cold i wasn't telling her so she can be like oh stay in here she was like oh you know what i have a little heater i can give you the little heater and i'm like yeah cool like thanks like if they don't come tonight then like yeah i'm willing to Oh, I'm gonna sit there again and be a little cozy, whatever. I'm texting the ex and he's like going off on me, like, where did you stay? What did you, what are you doing? Just like being upset with me where I'm like, why do you even care? We eventually start talking and then just like whatever. And I was telling him like where I slept and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. But funny thing is, 
a motherfucker had me sleep in the garage one time too and it was like well you did it before anyways so we start talking and he tells me like oh i feel so bad you can like sleep here tonight i'll talk to my sister and like oh things will change because he felt bad whatever so Baltimore comes back and i'm finishing up and i'm ready to like leave so i end up going to the library stay a couple hours there literally just like revamping my freaking stupid myspace putting some like slow jams like oh yeah yeah that's a good song that's a good song and i was learning how to like copy where you can change the whole background and put like hearts and like all kinds of stuff i was like learning how to do that the freaking librarian knew like what was up and why i was there probably because she was always like super nice to me so yeah me and Celia, we don't come cool for like a long, long minute. And when the peaches get back, so much drama happens where it's just, it's uncomfortable. And they do me dirty with my paycheck, like really, really dirty. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all you love that you guys show me on my story times. I really, really appreciate it. It really touches my heart. When you guys message me, you guys tell me like, Lexus is like really helping me. It seriously is just like a wow moment because who would have known like sharing my story would like help help you guys like it just makes me feel so good and sad at the same time sad because i'm like damn it's so sad that we all went through it like you know we kind of all have it the same and so good because we are healing together like it's just amazing i love you guys so much besos a todos and i'll see you guys in my next story time thank you guys for all the love love you guys bye